All right, guys. So while this truly is not a tutorial, I do want to give you um, some insight on what, what exactly I'm doing here. Um, and I say it's not a tutorial because this is truly the first time that I'm attempting this and I'm just recording it so that I can see exactly what I've done. So if it works, it'll be great. And if it doesn't, y'all ain't gonna see this. And so I am using the Mighty Hoop. And now the Mighty Hoop, I like the way it goes onto my machine and it does have a good magnetic bay, uh, magnetic hoop. However, because of the rubber, it doesn't allow the Mighty Hoop to actually clamp the way you would, you know, have it clamped with a, um, a hoodie or something, because this is just, it's got rubber on the other side of it. So anyways, that's why I have the clamps to hold this in place. And these are four inch spring clips. I got these at Walmart. They do, the red and black ones come in a four pack, but these here are some that, um, my husband already had. So I'm just using these as well. And I've got some water soluble stabilizer on top of it because this is carpet. And so you want to make sure that the uh, stitches don't go down into the carpet. You want them to stay and show as well as possible. So I am going to go to the hoop, get this hooped up and we'll see if it stitches. Alrighty. So we are at the machine and I am going to try to put this on the machine. Now I don't have my table out. I've never taken the plastic off of it, but I do have a stool sitting here. And, um, I think I'm going to try to take the clips off that are at this end. I'm going to take these clips off because I don't know. And these mighty hoops pick up all metal. So, um, I'm going to take this one off from here and then I'm going to move the smaller one down here just because I think that I'm thinking they'll probably stay together. And I'm trying to recall whose video I saw where they only had two clips on it and it worked pretty well. So let's see here. I've got this here part facing outwards. This is the um, the longer part that'll face out. And I'm gonna put this in here and see if it will work. Okay, it's in there. Now, I'm gonna move the camera a little bit on you. Sorry about all the moving. But I do wanna trace and make sure that the design will actually fit, which it should because the design is only like six and some change by nine and some change. So I just need to make sure that the design is actually centered in this hoop, which I feel like it could probably go this way a little bit, but um, I'm gonna see. Oh boy, oh boy, let's see if this works. Come on, I guess I'll hit escape and are we going to go into embroidery mode? And I I think I already have the color assigned. Yes, it's gonna be red. So that'll stay. Now I'm gonna hit this trace button, which really doesn't say trace. It says set start. And I can tell that that's gonna go back too far. So I need to move the design a little bit. Let's see if that works. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit the float button to see exactly where it's gonna go. And so I'm keeping my eye on that red dot. And I can't really see it, but this is the needle it's gonna be working with.
fingers are too long. Hmm. Okay, so I am going to move this just a little bit more. And I'm going to try and trace it one more time. Okay, so it's going to be here. And I'm just holding this down because there is an area where the way my laser is positioned, it can't see over or can't be seen over the edge of that mighty hoop. So I'm just holding the needle down to make sure that I don't go out of bounds with this design. Ooh, that's gonna be cutting it close. Okay, definitely need to keep this supported. So we are going to, first of all, move this hair string out of the way. And I'm going to be right here next to it to see if this will actually stitch. Fingers crossed. I just hit stop because I wanna clip that string from when I Rethreaded that needle. I pulled the string out too far. So I just wanted to clip that. So it seems like it is stitching pretty well so far. So I am going to keep watching it stitch and I'll check back in so that you all don't have to skip through so much of the stitching because it's just stitching. <laughs> it is still stitching pretty good. I forgot to speed the machine up. So I'm truly only running at 640 stitches per minute. So next time I will have to remember to speed it back up because it can certainly stitch on this a little bit faster.
Okay, so one thing that keeps happening while this is stitching on the lower side of this uh, floor mat, I keep getting thread breaks. Now, I'm starting to think, because I didn't have a problem with thread breaks on the top half, and I'm starting to think that it's because of the weight of the mat pulling and it might be causing some weird tension. So to finish this off, um, I'm not gonna go and try to put the table on it to see if that helps, but I am gonna just kind of prop the mat up a little bit with my hand and it's going to make for a long time standing here waiting for those letters to finish stitching. But um, we've got about, let's see, we've already stitched 25,000 stitches and there's a total of 38,000. So we've got a little bit to go. Um, I am going to re-thread uh, the needle and finish stitching it out. Okay, we're going to try to keep stitching. Okay, so we're winding to the last few stitches and the stitch out will be complete. Alrighty, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how it worked out. All oh, that black stuff that was on there was from off of the back of this. So, not perfect, but this is the first time that I've tried this, and the stitch could be a little bit more filled. What I do realize, I probably should use an actual fill stitch next time and just keep on practicing these until I feel like they are good enough to offer to others. And then that will definitely happen. Um, I will try this with the table the next time I stitch this out. Trying not to get my fingers caught up in those magnets. But yeah, um, not too bad. Just gonna clean this all up. Sometimes you just got to try new things, I guess. But this is the first time I've tried stitching a car mat at all. <laughs> Never even thought about it until someone asked me if I would be able to personalize some car mats for them. And I'm like, hmm, let me practice that first. So I will continue working on this. And when I get it to wear... I'm comfortable with it. I will start offering that to other people. Alrighty guys, so that is it. This is how she is looking or yeah, it's a she for now because this is Southern Audacity. But anyways, um, this is the first time that I've tried stitching anything onto a car mat and I'm not super thrilled with how it turned out but I'm not upset about it because this is my first attempt and I think it came out pretty good so yes I have three more that I will stitch out I'm not going to record all of that but I will get them all stitched out and um I'll just post a picture in the community post so that you'll see all four of them stitched out but um yeah I think after a little bit of practicing figuring out which, you know, type of stitches work best, which I do believe a fill stitch will be best for bigger letters like this. And then maybe satin stitches will be okay for the, 
the thinner monogram type things. But um, that is it. I'll keep on practicing. And when I feel comfortable enough to offer this to other people, that will definitely be a thing because, um, you know, the Atlanta area, the car community is huge. So when someone asks me if I can do something, I will definitely try. And so this is my first try just practicing and I will keep practicing until I get it perfect or something like that. But that is it. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you all in the next one.